So I wanted to, um, to draw your attention once again to the uh, fan page on Facebook because uh, one of the things I want to point out is the very first day we had one of our own media arts graduates, Jushu Pan, who came and spent time with Roy and Rick Mills and myself and Case Huso, one of our groundsmen, and they went around the campus and they looked for plant material. And she was there to record that that day. So I posted that this morning. You can go see that. I also want to uh, acknowledge the coverage in the Pioneer. The students came and wrote the article that was published in the Pioneer on the 16th. Uh, we also heard about Roy's work and his image lecture. Thank you very much on the 16th. And you may not know it, but on Wednesday the 18th, uh, there was a videographer here from Fios One from a program called Push Pause. And he was here like for four hours taking video. And we had students that were working on that, Alexander and Danielle, and a couple of others. <laughs> yes, and we have our we had our um, we had our security crew, which was Erica and Thomas, making sure that all went smoothly. So watch for a post on the Roy Stop fan page because they say it takes about six weeks to edit that. Then they'll give us an air date, and you'll get to see posts featured on FiOS One Push Pause Long Island. Um, I wanted to mention again, we're here as artists, but we're so close to the building, this is like our backyard. But actually, Roy has worked with students from throughout the university. We have had environmental science majors, forensic science majors, psychology majors, early childhood education, business majors, and of course, the whole range of art majors. So thank you to all the students who have really made this happen. Um, I, I really enjoyed watching Roy interact because, as you can tell, Roy is very shy and retired. <laughs> retired. Yeah. And he's very cautious when he needs something. He never really knows how to ask for what he needs. <laughs> no, it was just wonderful working with you because we always knew that what we could do to help you was great. So, also back to that fan page. Do you know that uh, in the very first week we re reached over 3,300 people? through um, social media. So, you know, this project is getting out there and there's going to be other people who want to come do what you did because it looks like so much fun. Yeah, you know when we were on the radio that what, that Sunday morning, uh, I was I'm the, probably the only person who listened to it here on the campus. <laughs> and then I had a friend in Taiwan and she was listening to it simultaneously, at the same, of course, at the same time. So then this kind of project goes around the world. Absolutely. <laughs> Um, part of what helped it go around the world was Danielle Savarese, the Twitter Woo! queen. I wanted to thank you. Uh, Dan Cox, WCWP, helped us tape and air the um, interview. Uh, we've already said thank you to some people. Thank you, Donna. But I also wanted to mention Joan Harrison's class, CGPH 16, that is posters. Yeah, and they did it on a tight deadline. They know what it is really like to work for a client. Let me tell That's you. That's how it goes, yeah. And, and the queen of the sign-in and release forms, Emmy. Yeah. Give it up. everyone participating and so yes this is Roy's vision but you know you have shared your spirit with us thank you so much thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, let's... So, uh, this is fantastic and I just want to uh, make a note that uh, I have been approached a number of different times for ideas about uh, big projects on the campus and as provost I immediately have to start thinking about Who's going to get hurt? Who's going to complain? Uh, how long is it going to be there? When's it going to fall down? What's it going to look like? And all these sorts of things. And I really commend all of you for kind of responding to my, uh, what were concerns at the beginning and really uh, make me realize this was an important and beautiful thing to do. And you have delivered so phenomenally in terms of what was promised and what we see here now. What this reminds me of is in my younger days when I was tree planting, in northern British Columbia, uh, I built a yurt. Uh -huh. And a yurt is a phenomenal structure. Uh, you know, a teepee goes like this, a yurt goes like this, and you can actually stand up in it. But it also has, you know, is made of wood. It's covered by canvas or felt blankets or whatever. But when you walk inside it, you know you're in a special place, and it feels awesome. And that's what I see here. And I really commend you for what you've done and thank all of those who have participated in making this such a great project. And the fact that it has involved so many students in so many ways really makes this work. So thank you all. Yeah. Thank you all. Yes. All right.
And one thing, another thing, because environmental art of mine, you know, it's, it touches the earth lightly. When, when the weakest part is what's going to make it go, and it's wrapped in jute, and when that jute goes, the piece of salt will fall apart. And when it falls apart, you just pull out those poles, and then the hill will be exactly as it was before it came. Only your idea on your mind, will you'll know this, something was here once. <laughs> Once upon a time. All right, so let's do a few digital photos. Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Living on an infinity. So let's do what we came here for. We want everyone here, except for a couple of photographers, right? Uh, photographers stay here. Everybody else, please come beyond the hill behind Roy. We'd like to ask our special guest to come right behind the ribbon here. Why don't we set the camera up and let it go and run up there and everybody in it? Maybe you got a tripod. Yeah. Let that thing run. You got the whole piece in? Yeah. Go back far enough. Yes, come on, four hands. Number three, two, one. Cut! There we go.